Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be bringing you a few of my favorite perfumes. I've actually gotten quite a few requests for this video, which is why I'm finally doing it, but I steered clear of doing this video for a long time because there's a science and an art to perfume and I'm just not well read on it. And two, I actually am very sensitive to perfume and I'm very picky. There are so many memories that I have of going into Macy's with my family and my mom would be like overlooking at clothes or something and then I would go to the perfume counters with my sisters and just smell so many perfumes and by the end of it I was so sick to my stomach, I would just have a pounding headache. I know I'm not the only one that did that as a kid, but it didn't matter even as I got older. There were just so many perfumes that would sensitize me and give me a really bad headache. I'm really not sensitive with a lot of smells, but the smell of a really overbearing perfume really just triggers a headache for me. So it took me a very long time to find perfumes that really got along with me. And at the end of the day, it would just make me feel like I smell good rather than I was wearing a perfume that smelled good. And that's something that I've been looking for for a very long time. So I hope that this video ends up being super helpful helpful for you guys and if you do enjoy it definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe I'd love to have you so you guys know that I am a Glossier rep but that doesn't mean that I wasn't immune to feeling a little bit nervous when I heard that they were coming out with Glossier U because as I just mentioned I am incredibly picky with perfumes but I was interested in seeing how their take would be on a perfume their whole idea behind this perfume is that it would be the perfume that would just mesh well with you and mesh well with your own skin's chemistry to become its own unique scent. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that that is something that happens with most perfumes, that a perfume smells a little bit different on everyone, but their idea behind the perfume is that this smell is going to just smell like you amplified. And that was definitely intriguing to me because again, as I mentioned before, I just want to smell like me except better. Like to describe my ideal perfume would be like a your lips but better lip color applied to perfume, just me but better. I have to say that they absolutely did not disappoint and this is the only perfume that I have ever gone through an entire bottle in my life. So they say that the three base notes of this perfume are musk, ambrette, and umbrox. These are really warm and creamy base notes and then the top notes are a little bit more fresh. They mention iris root and pink pepper. So I've come to find now that I really like a more peppery perfume, but those top notes are supposed to give this perfume a little bit more of an earthy and clean top note without being too clean, if that makes sense. I know everyone has their own way of describing this perfume and really all perfumes, but the best way that I can think to describe this is it definitely is musky. It it has that lived in smell. I definitely get a lot of muskiness, but it's a little bit on the sweeter side. It's not too, too musky. I find that it has a really nice balance. I definitely get that sort of pink peppercorn top note. To me, it smells a little bit papery, a little bit like hardwood floor. To me, it smells like warm laundry. It has warmth to it, but it also is a little bit more clean as well. Hence, it kind of smelling like warm and clean laundry to me. This one to me is a go-to because one, it's definitely less expensive than a lot of perfumes out there, so I don't feel guilty using it a lot. Two, this is a perfume that for me, I'm going to get compliments that I smell good, not that my perfume smells good. And to be honest, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that, but for me, I would rather someone smell me and think, oh, she smells good, not necessarily, oh, her perfume smells good. That's just kind of my vibe that I like to go with. And three, and probably the most important thing is that I I eventually don't necessarily smell this on me. I just end up smelling good. It's not a really offensive smell. It's not overbearing on my skin. As a whole, I just, I love everything about this perfume. Again, I wear it all the time. I love that it has warmth, but it's never too heavy. This to me is like right in the middle. There's one that's a little bit fresher and one that's a little bit heavier. 
This one kind of sits right in the middle. So let's next go into my more lighter option. This is from Replica and it is Whispers in the Library. Remember how we talked about really expensive perfumes? The full size of this is $130. And which is why I only bought the sample size. It was in Sephora and I was just dabbling in the perfumes, just smelling to see if maybe there was another one that would work for me for more of a springtime perfume. And when I smelt this, I knew that it was exactly what I was looking for. So Replica describes this as being a warm and spicy perfume with pepper and cedarwood, but this is definitely vanilla, peppery, cedarwood. For me, this perfume is very similar to Glossier U, but it is definitely on the lighter side. I think this one is slightly more sharp and less musky, but there's still a softness to it. I still get pepper and vanilla. There's that warmth that I think goes really well with my body chemistry. There's like a freshness to it. To me, it's like a house with a lot of wood floors, high ceilings, and all of the windows are open. To me, this perfume just has more breathing room. Um, it's a little bit on the lighter side, but it still has some warmth to it, which again, I personally find works well for me. I will definitely purchase the full size after I'm done this. And lastly, we have my most expensive perfume purchase ever, but I do not regret it for a second because I think I went through two of the sample sizes of this perfume, like these, like rollerball sample sizes, and then a bunch of like the actual little sample sizes that you would get at a department store. And I finally just had to purchase the full size bottle. And again, it's from Replica and it is by The Fireplace. I definitely have seen a few people talk about this perfume. This is definitely the strongest perfume that we're talking about today. But for me on my skin, my skin really handles the smell well. And it is just such a captivating smell. It's really absolutely delicious. This is super warm and spicy. There's notes of clove. Right on the bottle, the fragrance description is burning wood and chestnut. For me, that really is a very good description of how this smells. This is just a really alluring scent. If you like campfire, if you have always liked that like crackling wood, fresh air smell, this is definitely a perfume for you, but it's not too harsh because it does lean more sweet. So when I first smell this and it first goes on, I definitely get wood right away, but it's not like sandal wood. Um, for me, it really is like campfire. It's sharp, but then it has that sort of sweetness, a little bit of that clove, definitely some vanilla. But for me, it's like sophisticated vanilla. It's like burnt creme brulee sugar vanilla. It has a little bit of that sharpness. I find it to be really delicious, but I love all three. I would love to hear what your favorite fragrances are down below and if you have any recommendations for me. I'll leave all three of these fragrances linked down below for you guys. And as a whole, I hope that you guys found today's video helpful. So if you did, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.